dear students as we have discussed in the previous class oils cannot be applied to estimate the parameters of a single equation embedded in a system of simultaneous equations because the explanatory variables in that particular equation will be correlated with the, the stochastic error term and as we know if uh, an explanatory variable is correlated with the, the stochastic error term oils estimators are not only biased but also inconsistent that is the bias will not disappear even if the sample size increases indefinitely that is why we cannot apply oils directly to estimate the parameters of any equation which is part of a system of equations so we have to derive the reduced form apply oils to the reduced form etc so the problem of identification is also important we can estimate the structural parameters from reduced form coefficients if and only if the equation is identified but there is one situation in which oils can be applied even in the context of simultaneous equation models there is one situation in which oils can be applied even in the context of simultaneous equations this is a case of recursive models the case of recursive models also known as triangular models another name is causal models causal models so if a, a simultaneous equation system is in the form of a recursive model a triangular model or a causal model we can apply oils to estimate the parameters of an equation which is part of a simultaneous equation model to explain this let us consider a simultaneous equation model like this y 1t is equal to beta 10 plus gamma 1 1 x 1 t plus gamma 1 2 x 2 t plus u 1 t y 2 t is equal to beta 20 plus beta 21 x 1 t plus gamma 2 1 x 1 t plus gamma 2 2 x 2 t plus u 2 t y 3 t sum of beta 3 0 plus beta 3 1 x so y 2 t beta 2 1 y 1 t plus gamma 2 1 x 1 t plus gamma 2 2 x 2 t plus beta 3 1 y 1 t plus beta 3 2 y 2 t plus gamma 3 1 x 1 t plus gamma 3 2 x 2 t plus u 3 t now consider this three equation model in the first equation y1 is a function of x1 and x2 
in the second y2 is a function of y1 x1 and x2 in the third y3 is a function of y1 y2 x1 x2 as usual y's are the endogenous variables x are the predetermined variables it is assumed in the model that covariance u1t u2t is equal to covariance u1t u3t equal to covariance u2t u3t equal to zero it is assumed in the model that the disturbances across the equations are uncorrelated this assumption is known as zero contemporaneous correlation zero contemporaneous correlation that is error terms across the equations are uncorrelated known as zero contemporaneous correlation now let us see whether we can estimate the parameters of any of these equations using OLS. Now you first consider equation number one. <coughs> now in the first equation y1 is a function of y1 x1 x2 we know that y1 is a function of x1 y1 is also a function of u1 since by assumption y1 is a function of x1 and x2 by assumption x1 and x2 are predetermined variables they are uncorrelated with the u1 so we can apply OLS directly to estimate the parameters b10, gamma11, gamma12 the resulting estimators will be blue as the equation satisfy all the classical assumptions now consider the second equation we know that in the second equation y2 is determined by x1 and x2 y2 is determined by y1 y2 is determined by y1 y2 is determined by u2 also now the question is in the usual case we cannot apply OLS because y1 may be correlated with u2 but in this case y1 will not be correlated with u2 as you can see from the direction of the arrows u2 and y1 will be correlated if and only if u1 and u2 are correlated or y2 and y1 are correlated but y1 determines y2 y2 in turn is not determining y1 so there will be no correlation between u2 and y1 that means you can estimate the parameters of the second equation also because y1 is uncorrelated with u2 x1 and x2 are predetermined variables by assumption they are not correlated with u2 now consider the third equation y3 now you know that y3 is determined by x1 and x2 y3 is determined by y2 y3 is also determined by y1 and y3 is also determined by u3 now whether we can apply OLS to the third equation or not depends on whether y1 and y2 are correlated with u2 y1 and y2 are correlated with u3 or not now as you can see from the direction of the arrows u3 determines y3 but y3 is not determining y2 or y1 so there is no correlation between u3 and y2 and y1 
So we can apply OLS to the third equation also. Third equation also, there is no possibility of explanatory variables getting correlated with the stochastic error times. So in this type of systems, this is an example of a recursive model. So in the recursive models, we can apply OLS to each model, sorry, each equation, and we can estimate its parameters. There is no need for deriving the reduced form of these equations, reduced form coefficients, and retrieving structural parameters from reduced form coefficients, etc. Because, because the right hand side variables will not be correlated with the stochastic error time. Actually, from the structure of recursive models, it is clear that there is no simultaneity problem here because there is no simultaneous relations. As you can see, y2 is determined by y1, but y1 is not determined by y2. If there is a relation like this also, then u2 and y1 will be correlated. Similarly, y3 is determined by y2 and y1. y3 in, the, in turn is not determining y2 and y1. So there is only one-way relationship between one-way relationship between uh, between variables. So the name unilateral causal dependence. That is y1 affect y2, y2 in terms in turn will not affect y1. So there is unilateral there is unilateral causal dependence. So the name causal models. The name causal models. Unilateral cause causal dependence. So the name causal models. These models are also known as recursive models. Now the dictionary meaning of recursion is the determination of a succession of elements by operation in one or more preceding elements according to a rule or formula involving a finite number of elements. That is the dictionary meaning of recursion. Now, y1 depends on x1 and x2. There is a sequence. y2 depends on y1, then y3 on y1 and y2. If there is y4, depends on y1, y2, y3. So there is a clear pattern of operation. So the name recursive models. These models are also known as triangular models because if you write down the coefficients of endogenous variables, you will get a lower triangular matrix. Now consider this, y1, y2, y3, y1, y2, y3. In the first equation, y1 is 1, y2 and y3 are 0. In the second equation, y2 is 1, y1 is beta 2, 1, y3 is 0. In the third, y3 is 1, y1 is beta 3, 1, and y2 is beta 3, 2. Now consider this. This is a matrix, a matrix of the coefficients of endogenous variables. And uh, as you can see, it is a lower triangular matrix, a matrix in which uh, <coughs> zeros above the main diagonal and non-zeros below the main diagonal. So the name triangular models. So if uh, a simultaneous system, equation system has this structure, we can apply OLS to estimate the parameters of such a model without uh, causing what is known as simultaneous equation bias. So such models are useful, but the problem is 
In most cases, you will not have such a unilateral causal dependence. In most cases, y1 is determined by y2 and y2 is determined by y1. So there is a bidirectional causal dependence. In such cases, you cannot apply OLS to estimate the parameters of each equation because the resulting estimators are not only biased, they are also inconsistent. Then, if you have a simultaneous equation system, you can estimate the parameters using OLS. Then, you can estimate the parameters using indirect least squares, two st stage least squares, etc., just for comparison, just for knowing the extent of bias in such models. Such a comparisons will be useful in many situations. Anyway, this is a model, and uh, remember this, such models are not uh, extensively available in the context of simultaneous equation models. We can apply OLS because the structure of mo this type of models is a peculiar structure, recursive models. That is why we can apply OLS to estimate the parameters of each equation. Otherwise, we cannot. So this is a simultaneous equation model and this is a specific case in which OLS can be applied, that is all.